Hello, everyone. This is Jeremy Fry. I am the senior pastor at Advent Lutheran Church in Melbourne, Florida. This is my daily devotional podcast. It is Tuesday, August 10th, 2021. For the Right now, I'm looking at, uh, I'm going through Luther's, Martin Luther, our founding father of Lutheranism, um, small catechism, which is a small book that he wrote that uh, gave families a chance to learn the basic beliefs of Christianity, uh, Ten Commandments, Lord's Prayer, Apostles' Creed, Sacrament of Holy Communion, Baptism, and some other things as well. Uh, and again, it's a very quick read. You can actually download the free app online if you want, or look it up online, or Google it, or whatever you want to do. You can find it easily available. But basically, it goes through these uh, basic foundations of the faith and goes into more in-depth in them. So that's what I'm doing today and this month. We are already to the fifth commandment. The fifth commandment is you shall not murder. You shall not murder. Uh, the first three commandments had to do with our relationship with God. Uh, the rest of the commandments have to do with our relationship with each other. The fourth commandment, which is the first one about relationship with other, was honor your father and mother, honor your parents. And now uh, this fifth commandment that you shall not murder. And here's what Luther has to say. He always asks, you know, what does this mean? What, what does this mean for us? He says that we should fear and love God so we do not hurt or harm our neighbor, but help and support them in every physical need. We should fear and love God so that we do not hurt or harm our neighbor, but help and support them in every physical need. Uh, and uh, this commandment um, really uh, is, is, uh, is violated not only when we do evil, but when also when we have the opportunity to do good, but our, uh, to go, do good with our neighbors and to prevent, protect, and to save them from suffering bodily harm or injury and fail to do so. So it's not only when we we, we uh, do bad, uh, but it's also when we don't protect our neighbors from doing so as well. I think it's God's real intention, as Luther said, that, that we should allow no person to suffer harm, but show to everyone all kindness and love. Uh, and again, we all know how hard that is, right? We all know that you know, our human sinful self um, just doesn't, do that naturally, and it's so hard. Uh, you know, most of us can get away with not murdering somebody, um, but to protect them, to think well of them, uh, to try to make sure that they have no bodily harm whatsoever, and and to you know treat them uh, with all kindness and love. Uh, that's that's different than just not murdering somebody, right? Uh, Martin Luther understood God's uh, that God's commandments, you know, are both this this we talk about all the time in the Lutheran faith. So those who don't aren't Lutheran uh, won't won't know this term. But both law, you know, and gospel. Law is what we should do, right? And grace and gospel is what we're invited to do uh, as God's people. Um, and this commandment, I think it means that we do not act in ways that may directly or indirectly harm other people and harm our neighbors. And again, definition neighbor is every single person we come in contact with. It also means that we are called to take the first step in helping others meet their needs uh, when some do not have access to basic necessities. Luther was very, very serious about this commandment and how it fits in our lives and how we try to be good neighbors to one another. Um, whenever we have a chance to help someone, we should take it. According to her. And again, that is very, very counter countercultural, counter society, at least our society right now. Um, you know, we'll help the people that we want to help or we help the people that we think need help or are worthy of our help. Uh, but we won't help the people that we don't think are worthy. We won't help the people that are not like us. You know, and the list can go on and on and on. Um, and again, if you're going by the letter of the law of do not murder, um, most of us think we're doing a good job. 
But if you go by the interpretation, the spirit of this command to not only to not you know murder someone, but not to speak bad about them, not to be angry at them, but to love them, support them, and help them and protect their bodies and give them the things that they need, the basic necessities for life. Uh, and that we, when we don't take that opportunity, when we don't try to help people when that opportunity comes, we are breaking this commandment. So this, and that, that takes this commandment into a whole other level, in a whole other uh, world, uh, a godly world, which again is very hard for us to do. But I think if we try, and if we keep that in mind, what this commandment is. Uh, I think this world could be a much better place uh, if that's the goal we're trying to accomplish with this commandment of you shall not murder. So let's pray. Oh, good and gracious God, I thank you so much for the opportunity uh, to be here, to, to worship you, to live a life worthy of calling myself a follower of Jesus Christ. And I ask that you help me, encourage me, and help all of us and encourage all of us to seek out those moments uh, that we can help protect somebody, that we can help give somebody the basic necessities of life if they don't have them, to help their, to make sure that there's no harm to them or to their bodies, uh, and to, to not only not murder somebody, but also to treat them with all loving kindness and with the same grace and mercy and kindness that you show us. Uh, when we are presented with these opportunities each day, Help us to be bold and to go out and do your work and show your love and express your grace in all that we do. We pray this in your son's holy and precious name. Amen. All right. We'll see you tomorrow for the sixth commandment. Take care. God bless. Stay safe. Uh, Happy school, new school year for those who are starting school. They are here in, uh, in our town. Uh, teachers, administrators, students, families, and uh, school employees, uh, everybody. Uh, have a great school year. God, uh, Godspeed and God bless.